Shocking new details now in the Ontario gas plant scandal. The Tories say that senior Liberals secretly tried to sway the House Speaker from ruling the government in contempt of Parliament. Rebecca Thompson's live with more on this. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Well, of course, the Liberals have released thousands of documents, and the Ontario Progressive Conservatives in Ontario, and keep in mind that there are five by-elections happening right now, so it's timely for them because the by-elections are on Thursday. They have uncovered the fact that senior Liberal staffers in, uh, under former Premier Dalton McGuinty found that they tried to influence the Speaker, Dave Levac, uh, to uh, abandon his ruling of a contempt of par finding the Ontario Liberals in contempt of Parliament over the release of thousands of documents. Now, uh, in one email from Don Guy, he was the Premier uh, Dalton McGuinty's chief of staff, he had to say to another McGuinty aide, Speaker needs to follow up on his ruling and change his mind. And the response to that from another political staffer is to put the member on Brandt on notice. Now, member of uh, provincial parliament Dave Levac and speaker is a liberal member from uh, Brandt and it was only a few weeks later after uh, after MPP Brandt's ruling uh, that the Ontario Liberals were in contempt of Parliament, that Premier Dalton McGuinty, in fact, resigned his seat in a surprise resignation. Now, it has the Ontario Tories very concerned that this is an affront to democracy. MPP uh, Lisa McLeod had this to say. This is troubling. For months we have told you that uh, this actually speaks to the very democracy that we cherish in Ontario. It also tells me that the Liberal Party under Kathleen Wynne and Dalton McGuinty believed that they were above not only the law but the supremacy of Parliament, the very foundation of democracy that has been existing over centuries. Now, Pat, we've also heard from the NDP who believe that the Liberals would go to any length to cover up the cancellation of two gas plants. Of course, it was before the 2000 uh, general election that the Ontario Liberals cancelled two gas plants, and the cost of this, of this cancellation is now upwards to $600 million, and the number could climb when an Auditor General report is expected to come out in late August or early September. Now, of course, as I mentioned, there are five by-elections happening right now. On Thursday, people go to the polls, and of course, it's, uh, it's a bombshell that has, uh, that, has, uh, that has led the Ontario PCs to point their finger at the Ontario Liberals as another example of them trying to cover up this big gas plant uh, scandal. Now, the Ontario Tories say that they haven't found, they haven't gone through all final documents, that there are another 3,000 more tapes with emails on them that they'll be going through. So this is a big, uh, big concern, of course, for Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne at the moment, uh, Pat, who, of course, is hoping that the Ontario Liberals can pull through on at least one of these by-elections, but this, of course, uh, changes the channel for them. Yeah, we'll see. Rebecca, thank you. Thank you. This is the topic of our uh, web poll today. To what extent will the gas plant scandal negatively impact the Ontario Liberals' chances in the upcoming by-elections? Go to sunnewsnetwork.ca to cast your vote on that.